This week, the Environment Programme will be flying to Italy, to Calabria, where researchers are trying to protect an endangered species of sea turtle. Then we'll be going to England, where the waste management industry has come to a standstill due to the world economic crisis. And finally, we'll be taking a look at what is biomass and how the French government is trying to develop its use in industry. Save the carrot turtle. In around 100 years, its population has dropped by 80% in the south of Italy, mainly due to fishing. Often hunted for their flesh and eggs, the turtles are found caught in fishermen's nets and drown because they can't swim back to the surface to reoxygenate. Researchers from the University of Calabria have been trying for several years to extend the protection zone because due to coastal development, their ecosystem is gradually disappearing. Despite a critical environmental situation, the presence of the turtles helps the local economy by attracting tourists. This region is the primary laying area of the carrot turtles in the Mediterranean, where nearly 7,000 are born each year. After a 60-day incubation period, the eggs hatch. The turtles have a life expectancy of almost 50 years. Let's hope that the measures taken by the International Union for Conservation of Nature will help protect this endangered species. Great Britain is collapsing under the weight of its waste. During the slump, the recycling market has come to a standstill. Raw materials derived from paper and cardboard, once recycled, are usually sold to developing countries such as China and India that use them as supplementary energy sources. But now, stocks of uncleared waste are piling up all over the country. Users are continuing with their selective sorting, even though the recyclable waste may be burned or buried in fields. One of the aims that France has set is to produce more electricity and heat from renewable sources. And what if part of this energy were to come from biomass? At the beginning of this year, France launched two bids for projects for the construction of power stations using biomass, energy which has multiple sources. The different vegetable biomass sources to be found in France are pretty vast, from herbaceous biomass, grass, to trees in forests or in hedges. But it can also be from different forms of waste, byproducts of industry, wood for example, for the sawdust and bark, and the food processing industry for other products. Other products like straw from wheat for example. Most of the French biomass comes from wood and its derivatives. This source is already developed. One out of two French households heats with wood. Heating and electricity included, 90% of renewable energy in France is from biomass. The idea is to develop it at another level. In the public sector, for a network of urban heating, to heat a university, a retirement home or manufacturers, we're a little late and we need to make up for this. And not only are we late, we have an amazing potential for development in this field. With 18 million hectares of forests on its territory and just as much farming land, France has the necessary resources to provide energy for large thermal and electric installations. Yet how do you make energy from plants? We have different technology for producing energy from biomass. Combustion energy, we make heat, quite simply. We have gasification, we transform wood into gas or into liquid, and then we burn it in a sort of thermal engine, like a car engine. And then, after that, we make heat or electricity. And the last method is methanization, biogas, where, with a certain number of metabolisms, we can transform this matter into gas. For example, here's a paper mill in the region of Rouen. In 2007, this factory equipped itself with a biomass combustion power station. The advantage is that the biomass that supplies the power station comes from the factory's waste and the surrounding forests. A biomass power station must be close to its energy source. The idea is to get supplies from an area that is relatively close, let's say a hundred or so kilometers in the periphery of the industrial site. The Normandy region, like the majority of French regions, has sufficiently large forest areas from which to collect enough biomass. So this plant can supply the totality of the factory's energy needs, now only from wood biomass, replacing in fact fossil energy that we were using before. And that's the idea. Today this paper mill produces its own electricity and heat necessary for its work. 
Moreover, the CO2 rejected by the plants during combustion doesn't raise the greenhouse gas emissions in an artificial way. Biomass energy is totally ecological, or almost. When we burn biomass in traditional or industrial boilers, two things are emitted, ash and smoke. We know how to collect the ashes and use them in farming or other materials, such as gravel or the like. We know how to treat the smoke, and with today's mature technology, we know how to emit the least amount of dust possible, the least amount of pollutants in the atmosphere. Another hitch. Developing biomass on a larger scale should not compete in the future with other means of using wood or farming. This is not an issue for the moment as France aims to increase twofold the energy capacities of biomass by 2020.